Hello and good morning children. Welcome back for your live class. Today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 4, page number 47. Okay, so please while watching this video keep your book in front of you and go through the book. Alright, so our chapter for today is the internet and introduction. So children, we are going to do a new chapter. Chapter 4, Computer, Internet and Introduction. So I am going to read for you first and the page number is 47. As you all know, how important is internet for today's world, isn't it? And it has proved us in this moment, internet has proved us that without internet, our life is, a, um, our life is meaningless. So it is very important. So I am going to do this chapter for you. So let's read the book first. Computer is one of the most interesting and important invention. It can help the user perform varieties of tasks. But do you know what makes computers more, even more powerful and effective? As children you all know computer is very useful machine. It is used for all, each and everything in this world. We can do whatever we want to do in this computer. But computer itself is not that powerful. When we add internet to it, it, it becomes more useful and more powerful for us. Alright. So this is the internet. Yes, internet is the uh, most useful thing for today's world. The term internet stands for interconnected network. It is popularly called net. So children today you can see net in each and everything. You can store your net in your computer. Not only if you want it, it's in your phone, it's in mobile phone also. You are using your uh, internet. So in short we call it net only. We don't say the full name internet and the meaning of internet is first it, the word has come from interconnected network. So, in short, we call it net. Okay. Internet is the world's largest computer network. It link, links millions of computers across the world with the help of devices. Uh, children, I have already told you the meaning of device is machine. Yes, a computer, uh, internet is connected with the machines and it helps us to do our work. Okay. And it is connected with millions and millions of people in this world. We can be connected with the world with the help of this internet and the computer. It links millions of computers across the world with the help of devices like phone, lines, satellites, cables and modems. Computers that are connected to each other through internet are capable to share information and communicate with each other. The internet in a network of network which helps you to access and collect any information available on the internet. With the help of internet, one can communicate with people living in different parts of the world. It can it also enable people to sell and buy goods and services online. The most interesting fact about internet is that it can be accessed by millions of people together. Yes, internet not only help you to play games, it also help you to do your shoppings nowadays as it is very famous. Now, <clears throat> we all do internet uh, shopping, isn't it? Net shopping, everyone like you also do, you have internet in your mobile phone, you search, serve, buy things, sell things, not only buying, you can even sell things. If you have any old things that you want to sell, you can uh, show it in the internet, in the apps and you can even sell the things and buying is very common, you all do that, isn't it? And it connects millions of millions of people together. At one time, millions of people can use internet and you can see each other. You can talk to your friends now as the teaching is also helping now as this pandemic is there. So we are also using internet for our teaching and learning process, isn't it? It's helping us to teach and learn. Teachers are teaching and the children are learning, isn't it? So this is the most effective and the present example that internet is helping us to get together 
in this moment when people are all uh, maintaining the social distancing or physical distancing at this moment what is helping us to be connected with each other this is our internet all right so this is the best example so now i'm coming to page number 48 uses of internet so how uh, internet can be used internet is quite useful let us learn the uses of internet in different areas of life internet is not used in one part of the place or in one part of the life it is used by all together okay and it is also used in every part of the world in every part every in every workplace it is being used and the first topic is uh, education one can search information on almost any topic and can also learn new courses using the internet students and teachers can easily connect with each other through the internet yes now teachers and children are connected with each other you are in different place i am in different place but we are connected through this internet we are teaching and you are learning it is all because of this internet you even you can find your informations anything that you want to know extra than whatever in your book you can go through the internet and you can find it from the google yes then internet also help us in entertainment you can watch videos or movies listen to songs and play games on internet internet also help us to be keep entertained if you are at home as children you cannot go out to play you don't have friends so you what you can do you can watch videos you can watch movies at home only using your internet in your mobile phones listen to your favorite songs and also you can play games your internet will be your best friend to play games at your home inside your house you can also be uh, your best friend is now is your phone and your internet or your computer if you're using a computer it can also help you internet also is also used in business how let's see internet has provided a whole new platform to perform varieties of business one can buy and sell new or old products over the internet for example your parents order something over the internet after a few days that thing is delivered to your home this process is called online shopping it saves time yes children business now people cannot go out in the shops to find to search for the things so what they do is it is very easy your parents must have done in this uh, dasai or durga puja what they did is for you they have they might have shopped from online isn't it like at home you can sit open your computer your mobile phone you can search for your needs like your clothes your shoes your bags whatever need you want you can even search the prices you can compare the prices and you can order you do not have to go anywhere the thing will arrive at your home isn't it this is the most easiest and the quickest way of shopping where you do not have to run from here and there to search for your things okay this is also called your online shopping and it is helping the people you can even sell the things not only buying if you are good in anything suppose if you are good in baking like making cakes you can also make the things at home show it in the internet the buyers will come order you you can send it to your uh, to their places okay this is also this is also a kind of a business buying and selling which you can do with the help of this internet you can see internet in the banks all right so how can we use internet in the bank let's see with the use of internet one can perform various banking operations such as transferring money paying bills and so on from anywhere and any time this is known as internet banking it saves a time and also eliminate the need to carry cash and notes now children as it is not important to carry notes money in your pocket and move from one place to another to deliver the to give to somebody it is very easy if you want to give money to your loved ones to your friends to your relatives to your families you can easily transfer through bank you can stay at home at home only you can do everything from home you can transfer money from one person to another you do not have to go to bank 
okay it is very banking is at home as you have seen it is known as mobile banking you can also send monies from one place to another using your internet then today i'm going to do the last chapter uh, topic that is communication you can communicate with each other talking meeting each other is called communication internet allows us to share data and information across the globe within a new uh, sorry a few seconds globe means whole world this method of communication helps you to connect with people living at distance places the common type of communication over the internet are as follows social networking connecting with people through social media sites such as facebook twitter youtube instagram etc is called social networking these sites can be accessed only through internet here one can share pictures and videos express ideas and views and can also make new friends chatting chatting means sending and receiving text messages through applications such as whatsapp google hangout skype etc now children as you all know we cannot go out of a house because of this virus so what we did in this durga puja we did not go we did not meet our friends we did not meet our families but what we did is because of this internet and a we communicate with each other we uh, we uh, wished each other happy dasai happy durga puja without going to each other's place and we also had a good chat with them isn't it we cannot move from one place to another because of this virus if we move from one place to another as we all know it will affect it will be infected isn't it so uh, staying home we wished each other through uh instagram through facebook and whatever we have enjoyed at home we have shared the pictures in facebook youtube twitter instagrams so our families have seen how we have celebrated and they also posted the pictures so you saw how they enjoyed the pujas yes or no and you can also do chatting now you can do a live chatting also you can do a video call also with your friends and families by staying home not going at any places you can chat you can enjoy and this can be done with the help of whatsapp google hangout and skype i know you all are familiar with this whatsapp and hangout isn't it google hangout so we'll do till here in the next class we'll continue with the advantages of internet and disadvantages of internet so thank you children please go through the book okay